Well, good day, everyone. Thank you again for joining us. My name is Don Clayton. I'm the Chief Talent Officer at FranServe. We are the world's largest franchise consulting and expansion organization where we change lives every day. This is the Changing Lives webcast. And today I have with me a certified franchise consultant with FranServe, Nick Dara, coming to us from Iowa. Nick, welcome. Hey, thanks for having me, Don. Happy to be here. Well, thank you so much. And today, Nick, we're going to talk a little bit about the word no. You know, sometimes yes is always such a nice word. Everyone always wants to hear the word yes. Yes, sure, yes. But sometimes when you hear the word no, it can come across as confrontational or maybe direct chastisement or some type of negative connotation. However, when working with a certified franchise consultant like yourself, Nick, sometimes the best word your candidates can hear is, in fact, no. Oftentimes, it's not about always saying yes, but sometimes it's, or always, it's about helping others not make mistakes. Nick, do you have a story or can you share with the audience a time where you actually had to say no to one of your candidates? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I appreciate the opportunity to be on here and uh, and to share with this topic. It's such a, an interesting topic because, you know, as a as a certified franchise consultant, we're often speaking with entrepreneurs, right? And folks that are at least exploring the opportunity of franchising through business ownership through franchising. And no is is not an exciting word. It can also it can oftentimes feel like a speed bump or feel like we're putting boundaries or guardrails on someone. Um, and, and it's a tricky subject to navigate a lot of times, but I think it's, it's so important to have a mindset as a consultant, you know, that we're coaching them through the discovery process and through the validation process and through, you know, the franchise identification process really. Um, and, and I think a lot of it, so oftentimes we'll boil down to trust that we have with those candidates in, in sometimes the limited time that we get the allowed to do that. Um, it's, it's critical to have trust. Um, the instance that I'm thinking of in particular was with a candidate who is exploring franchising. He came to me as a tier one candidate. And for those not in France or that's just a brand specific candidate. Um, was looking into a, a home services concept um, and was really gung ho on this concept. So we go through the process of really um, talking to him through that brand, the highs, the lows, um, the important aspects of, of that brand and concept. And the more we got to do that and the more I was able to flush out the important things to him with respect to business ownership, what his expectations were for what his business can and should be for him, the more we kind of really walked backwards into, hey, this brand isn't good for him. And it, it turned out to be a no, right? That it was a no for this brand. And the important part as a consultant is, is not reframing, but just the expectations of, hey, it's not a no, you're not going to be a business owner or a no this is going to be another six months of your life helping to identify it's hey no to this brand but based off our conversations and through thoughtful questions and identification of what's important to him in his buy box i was able to very quickly sift through our inventory of brands that fit that um which led to a yes in this case which was very good um and very rewarding um but the no got us to the yes. So, so that was, uh, that's always interesting, right? I love, I love that, Nick. Wow. What a great story. And, you know, uh, our consultants have many stories very similar to that. And, and it, it often, it reminds me, Nick, of a child uh, and you tell the child, no, do not put your hand on the stove that has the burner on. You're going to burn your hand. Uh, well, children do what ch children do, and so a child will burn their hand at some point in their childhood, probably. But the thing about that no, where the child moves and progresses forward and burns their hand, the good news about that is, is that they learn through that bad experience. They learn through burning their hand, yet their hand will heal within a few days. It's painful, but their hand will heal. The reason why this topic is so vitally important is because we help individuals, everyday people, 
from making bad decisions that don't take a few days to heal, Nick. They could take yeah. years, years to heal, even decades if they make the wrong decision. That's why working with a certified franchise consultant is really crucial whenever individuals are looking for a franchise opportunity. Any final words, Nick, on this topic? Yeah, yeah, I would say, you know, there's a million examples of the horror stories, right, of folks getting into the wrong business or a bad business or not necessarily a bad business, but just not great for them, not a great fit, right? And they 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 leave that situation unfulfilled at best and, you know, financially ruined at worst. Um, so yeah. it is an important decision going through the business buying process um, in, in franchise selection. And I think it's, it's critical to, as a buyer and as a potential business owner to understand what's important to you, understand, you know, what fills your bucket and, and what you can bring, you know, from a, a tools and, and talents and assets position to a business and then passion as well. Um, as a consultant, it's a very, very important for us to have, thoughtful questions to flush that stuff out, right? A process okay. in place to, to be able to really work with a candidate to identify what, what is key and important to them. And then the, the tools on our end to, to match that um, with a great high performing franchise that fits their needs. And, and I've found a home with Franserve and, and so thankful that we have the inventory of brands that we do that make that that makes that job a little easier. You know, we've got processes and procedures that we can take candidates through um, very uh, succinctly to to help them make that choice. Um, and, and and that's the beauty of what we do. So it, it's a uh, being told no is never never a comfortable thing, but it's it's oftentimes guided by guide rails, and those guide rails are very important. Well, Nick, you couldn't say it better. I mean, this is a, a quote of the year from Nick Dara in Iowa, certified franchise consultant with Franserve. The quote of the year is this, the no leads to the yes. I love that, Nick. And that comes straight from you. And, you know, oftentimes we have certified franchise consultants at Franserve who were previous franchisees that didn't do so well and had wished they had worked with a franchise consultant previously at Franserve so that they could have been told, no, this perhaps isn't the best option. But I love the fact no leads to the yes. Today, folks, we have had with us Nick Dara, certified franchise consultant from Iowa with Franserve. Nick, thank you again for joining us here today. Folks, if you have any questions at all about becoming a certified franchise consultant with Franserve, you can simply just email connect at franserve.com. Again, that's connect at franserve.com. Everyone enjoy the rest of your day. We'll see you next time on the webcast, Changing Lives. Thank you.